hello everyone welcome to we run wp so today we are gonna make this icon menu for mobile uh, using elementor pro uh, okay so we'll be uh, copying this menu from this side as you can see we have the mobile menu here uh, for this functionalities we'll uh, do this on another video or for later we'll just make this menu or this sticky uh, mobile icon menu for now so let's begin so first of all you will have to log into your WordPress dashboard then uh, hover over templates then go to theme builder and then if you don't have any header uh, on your site built using elementor then you will need to click on add new as i already have an header for for this site i'll click on edit so i'll be integrating this mobile menu on this exciting header so let it load the uh, editing panel is taking them some time okay it looks like there are uh, multiple elements here as I haven't built this header it is it's an uh, old client site so maybe he built it by himself so I'll be only uh, making this for the site for now so as we are making this for only mobile let's switch to mobile view okay this is the current header for mobile i will be focusing on this one only so we have this uh, a menu on the bottom of the site and it's sticky if you scroll down it, it sticks to the to this place so for that we'll be taking a widget for now uh, container then we have like a one two three four five elements we can use a uh, icon list or icon box for these users so let's take icon box okay for now as we have the icon and the header as you can see icon box will be removing the description and the header for now and let me check which okay this is they are using uh, SVG images for the icons so I will use this extension uh, this is called export SVGs click on it and you can see all the SVG images on uh, used on this site okay you can download it from Chrome uh, Web Store. I will link it on the description so you can install easily. So we have these icons. Let's select the icons. Five. Okay, this five. Just click on download. Open the folder and extract all the files okay we have ready okay then let's make, make this structure first then we can just uh, replace the icons from here it's using 24 point okay let's use 25 pixel for the width icon width icon size 25 pixel and the text size will be 12 pixel tutelium web okay let's see if we have the font here okay we have it on elementor and a strip 12 pixel right 12 pixel yeah and 600 okay the font weight is 600 and the icon spacing is too large here let's use 
uh, like 5 or 0 pixel okay it's already adding i think a line height or a uh, gap so we can use 0 here and let's duplicate it 4 times click on ctrl d or you can just right click and click duplicate it's the same thing 1 2 3 4 5 okay SLI and it to horizontal keep it in center or we can just use like we have 12 pixel on top 33 on the right and left and bottom 18 okay 12 33 18 on the top 12 pixel 33 18 sorry 33 pixel okay so now we can use space around or space between to align them automatically like this okay now let's think it's zoomed out okay that's why it was looking smaller now just replace the icons as we have downloaded the svg files let's upload the svg images upload all at a time or you can upload one by one insert now this one this one is i think profile then this one will be resources resources my list cart okay my list then this will be the card icon okay let's rename the account resources just copy and paste the names okay it it break to two lines so we'll have to reduce the gaps to zero as we have used space between this will automatically take the space uh, if the screen size is bigger and it will reduce the space if the screen size is less okay or lower screen resolution okay this looks good on the responsive so we have a background shadow okay border shadow on the top so let's use this uh, select the container go to style tab then you can see a border then bo box shadow just click on it and reduce the shadow like this okay and it should be okay like this okay keep it like that and we have this on the bottom and it's sticky so let's go to advanced tab the position should be fixed as we add is sticks on the bottom you can see it it got to the top we need to keep it uh, at bottom and the particle orientation is you can see the top just click on bottom and it will be stick to the bottom section as you can see that this is a transparent widget so we'll have to give it a background color so go to style tab again then go to background click classic and you can choose the color from here so we'll be using white as you can see it's now matching the design perfect and we have the uh, scroll to top button here so it's overriding the uh, menu we can use z index to keep it uh, on top or we can just uh, make this uh, top button uh, outside of this container we can add a margin button to use this or you can just remove this 
later so i'll be submitting this and our client will be deciding this what to do with it as you can see uh, some of the elements i think overriding this header so we'll be using jd index to fix this issue so go to uh, we will have to go advanced tab and you can see there will be a jd index just use 99 or 999 and this will fix the issue as you can see it's done if you close the editor and you can see the menu is perfectly done as this is uh, only uh, on the mobile view as you can see the desktop view is messed up so we'll need to hide this for mobile uh, sorry for desktop and the tablet mode so you can see this in the advanced tab you can see the responsive option click on it and click uh, just toggle these two buttons for desktop and tablet and it will be hidden for desktop and tablet as you can see the desktop and tablet is gone okay this is i think a bug okay perfect just click on publish and the header is ready let's view the page in mobile mode okay perfect if you visit any of the pages of the site okay you can see this is perfectly working great so this is how you can make a icon menu uh, for your mobile using uh, Elementor Pro and if you want to make it for desktop you can just design it for desktop and toggle uh, toggle off these buttons it will be ready for the mobile too if we switch to desktop now you can see this is gone we can check it uh, for our tablet view too for tablet it's gone and if you switch back to mobile it's again in view so that's all if you need any help or any question just comment below or if you want any project uh, to do or any help with your project just comment below or i have linked my website and contacts below you can just contact me using this uh, using the website or whatsapp i will be linking in the description so that's all for now we'll be uh, seeing you